until about 15 years ago, life was pretty normal for Brazzo. He had a normal childhood. He loved to hang out with his dad. He took long walks in the park. He went to school all the way through, got his master's degree. Everything changed when he met Evisa. One day, Bratzo's mother came home and said that her migraines had gotten so bad that she was going to go to this healer. And of course, Bratzo was really very, very upset. And he said, why are you throwing your money away at this gypsy healer? She said, I need to get better. And he said, well, I'll go with you. I'll protect you. So Bratzo went to Evitza's with his mother to protect her. And finally, at the very end of the day, Evitza calls Bratzo to come sit down in front of him. And he starts telling Bratzo things about his life, about Bratzo's life that Bratzo had never told anyone. Not even his parents knew these private details about him. And the next day he went back to Evitza's, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. It became so important to him that he stopped going to work altogether. And it worried his parents terribly, particularly his father, that this man that he Bratzo had gone ultimately to protect his mother from turned out to be his mentor. And it wasn't that Evitza gave him anything special. He didn't teach him. He wasn't showing him how to heal people. Bratzo merely sat by him while Evitza did his work, while he touched people, while he looked at their pictures, while he read their futures or told them things about their past. And Bratzo just sat there quietly. It wasn't until after Evitza's passing, a very traumatic story about his death, when Bratzo returned back to Serbnyak, where there was a crowd assembled outside and asking Bratzo who would follow, who would take care of them now that Evitza was gone. And Bratzo said he didn't know. And they said, you, you can do it. And he said, I'm not a healer. I don't, I don't know anything. And they said, no, no, no. This one woman stepped forward. She said, I've had a vision. I've seen it. You'll be the one next to help us heal. After my first session or, or whatever, um, I, I am able to walk, but with quite a limp, and, um, and my hand is pretty immobile. And um, just, just being in this presence seems that has allowed the pain to minimize. And I took a little walk across the hall here and without cane and with with a little limp. And I don't want it to sound um, miraculous, but <laughs> my fingers are having some mobility. How grateful, how grateful. Thank you all. Even in the midst of going through the floor and having this emotional meltdown, another part of me was standing back and saying, this is your experience. Is that happening somewhere from outside of yourself? Or is it just something in your own psyche? For me, the proof of the pudding was this Rather minor miracle, but a very significant one. I went to two gazings that morning, and then I had to go out that afternoon to my job. And I drive a city bus. And I went on my route up to the high school, where af afternoons I pick up all of the high school kids who all get on the bus, and they're all kind of like, you know, pushing one another, and they don't want to show their passes, and they're all just like way too cool for the, the usual standard routine for high school students. And that afternoon, there wasn't anything different, so I thought, for me, other than being in this rather peaceful place. But each one of them got on the bus and held up their pass and smiled at me and walked to the back. And I found myself thinking, wait a minute, what's different here? They didn't know anything about Brazzo. They don't know anything about me. But there was something that was communicated. And I don't even know, I still to this day, I don't know what this energy is about. I'm still kind of a Missouri show me state kind of person. But when that happened, I said, this isn't just about me anymore. And that's what made the difference. So I just want to share that with all the folks who may not be having marvelous experiences during the gazing. 
just see what happens when you're out in the world. See what happens in terms of the change as you bring that energy out and see how people respond to it. That's where you may see the miracles start to happen. I don't know what else to tell you other than this is the most blessed moment that we could share together.